Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I, I will. I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. The, the end of one's day has drastically changed in this country. There was a time when most of us worked nine to five. Uh, we all got up around the same time, showered, cleaned up around the same time, and ate breakfast around the same time, and left our homes around the same time, arrived at work around the same time, went to lunch around the same time, got back home around the same time, ate dinner around the same time, and all sat around the table uh, together and watched television around the same time, and, and when we all went to bed around the same time, schedules now. Some of our schedules are even different within the same household. Mm -hmm. The kids are going one way and we're going another way. Uh, they are on a schedule and we are on a schedule. Uh, parents are on a schedule. If you are in the same school, you can have classmates that are on different schedules. Mm -hmm. We don't even eat together at the same time anymore. Some of us are just walking out of the door while your husband is walking in the door. Uh, Children are going to here and there. Our, our lives are completely agitated by our schedules. Right. However, there is one constant that hits all of our lives, oh, yeah. and that constant is worry. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm by myself. Come on, man. Uh, uh, that constant is worry. Worry is the opposite of peace. Worry is caused by how you handle the troubles that life gives us. And just like the schedule that I mentioned earlier, most of us don't handle trouble the same way. We, we, want, we want limited time with our troubles. We don't want to spend time trying to learn from our troubles. Trouble can become a great teacher. Trouble can become a mirror to see what imperfections and cracks are developed in the soul. Trouble will help you lean less on yourself and more on God. Let me just say that again. I said trouble will teach you how to lean less on yourself and more on God. However, the problem comes in when we allow our trouble to put God on a timetable. Philip Brooks, the great writer, once wrote that the problem that we have is that we are in a hell, but God is not. We allow our troubles to dictate and alter and control our very lives. Trouble, 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 trouble will turn a peacemaker into a peace breaker. Trouble will turn uh, your sweetheart into a backstab. Trouble will turn your smile into a grip of the teeth. Trouble, trouble will turn a shy person into a ranting person. Trouble will turn a praying person into a plotting person. However, I come this morning to tell you, just go to sleep. Y'all looking at me crazy. Oh, just, just, just go to sleep. I know, I, I know you got problems. I, I know you have trouble, but baby, just go to sleep. I, I, I know you don't know how you will make ends meet, but go to sleep. I, I know friends and walk around and call you everything but a child of God, but just go to sleep. I, I know they're talking about you, saying you're not going to make it. They never amount to anything, but just go to sleep. I, I know you don't know how you're going to pay the bills, but just go to sleep. You don't know if you're going to have a job. In the morning when you get there, but just go to sleep. Somebody ought to be caught in this right now. I know the doctor said that you're sick, but just go to sleep. I know 
that old husband getting on your nerves, but baby, you need to learn how to just go to sleep. I know you're tired of working the same job, and sometimes you cannot get ahead, but just go to sleep. I know this. The cancer has invaded your body, but baby, you need to learn how to just go to sleep. I know some of us in here thinking, how dare he? He has no idea of what I'm going through, but God's word says that not only can you go to sleep, but your sleeping is a sign that you have learned how to trust God for your situation. And I'm going to be more praise than that. I said, when you can lay down in trouble and all around your bed, and yet still you can lay down, put your head on the pillow, grab them sheets and tuck it under your neck and say, ain't no need for both of us to be up all night all together. Song, which is the second song directly giving our credit to, uh, to David. It is dedicated to the chief musician and it is a piece of music that is written uh, just for uh, the melodious sound of the string instruments uh, such as the lyre and the harp, which I that alone suggests that it is a soothing of the soul. This particular song is filled with great aches, it's filled with trouble and pain, and it suggests that David wrote it as a reflection of the pain and distress that he felt uh, dealing with uh, diverse situations in his life. Uh, he felt this pain coming from his enemies, and he did write as someone who, who literally has come into uh, the bedchamber after a long, exhausting, and troubling day, and before he lays his head down to sleep, uh, before his body becomes overwhelmed by the exhaustion, he pulls out a pen and he reflects upon his day. And let me say this before I go any further. Uh, don't miss out on reflection. Don't miss out on reflection. Uh, don't, don't be in such a hurry to get to tomorrow that you don't reflect upon what has happened today. I, I have learned from God that before you can go forward in here, you need to look back and check out what he's already done today. I, I say that. And at the beginning of the day, I ask God, uh, uh, give us this day our daily bread. But at the end of the day, you need to learn how to pause and thank him for what he did all day long. I, 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 know, I know it's early. I know it's early. In the, in the day already, and, you, and maybe you can't think of anything the Lord has done for you already, but I, I got a laundry list of things that He's done for all of us already because you're here. The like, first thing He did was He woke you up this morning. The second thing He did was He gave you activity of your limbs. The third thing He gave you shelter. He gave you food to eat. He, he gave you travel and grace because you're here. Uh, he gave you a right mind. He, he protected you. He propped you up on every leaning side. He, he's given you health and strength. He, he's given you joy. He's made your enemies behave. And, and that alone is enough reason to give God glory and honor and praise. Even at 11 o'clock a.m. on Sunday morning, all of us got a reason to give God praise. I wish I had some praise for me today. Somebody who didn't the day to say, hey, listen, listen, when you think about what the alternative could have been, you could have laid down last night and death could have stopped by your house and knocked on your door. But God saw fit to make the enemy to pay. He won't be one this thing. It could have been worse. You may not have everything you need or you want, but God knows you, you, you could be in a worse situation. Anybody here got a praise just for where you are in sight of what you wish. Word. And spend time to spend time each day and pause and thank God for what He has done to us. Because pausing and reflection will give you ammunition when you get to your next piece of trouble in your life. You hear what I said? I, I, I said pausing and reflection will give you ammunition when you get to your next piece of trouble in your life. You can roll back the tape of your memory and say, 
I may be going through right now, October the 12th. Uh -huh. I may be going through, but, but back on February the 10th, uh, you brought me through something worse than this. Yeah. 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 I, I, I may think I'm going to lose my mind right now yeah. on October the 12th, but back on January 28th, uh, I thought the same thing, but God, you took care of me. Oh, yeah.
because the land of Israel uh, seldom experienced any lasting peace, Mr. Henley. Uh, enemies were in the north, enemies in the south, enemies in the east and west. Uh, th there's always been some kind of controversy or some kind of problem in, in this area surrounding Israel. E even in David's time, from Saul and his conflicts to those that surrounded David during his reign until his death, uh, from the problems in the kingdom uh, to dealing with the wars and getting the fight, and even being uh, lead, led by his own son, trouble in the land. And, and just because you're the king, that doesn't mean you are exempt from daily problems. Just, just because you are saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost does not mean the trouble don't have a key to your house. Just because you show up on Sunday morning with a praise on the inside does not mean that you won't go through some problems. Just because you pay your time and give your offering does not mean that every now and then you're going to have to deal with something in this life. But what it does mean that while I'm going through, I understand that there's somebody going through with me. And as long as he's with me, everything's going to be all right. Without fault or 
about it in uh, observation. I leap out of the bed and I'm in Tori's room. Mm -hmm. Tori standing outside the bed holding Sydney. Sydney's crying because Sydney has fell out of the bed. But when she felt herself getting her daddy's arms, uh -huh. the crying ceased and she went back to school. Oh my God. When God hears your cry and comes to your call, once you're in his arms, ain't no need to worry about what you just went through. You might as well say, Lord, if I'm in the arms of God, I know that I feel like all of you, that everything's going to be all right. Anybody give you glad to your power safely in the arms of God? Peace in my stomach. I found peace 
in my relationship with Jesus, I'm, I'm able to find peace with folk who don't like me. Uh, the, the disciples found out about this peace. The Bible says they were on the sea, and, and the sea was raging, and the winds were blowing, and, and the disciples were afraid. But the Lord said to them, Peace be still. And he calmed the raging sea and, and stopped the fear. I'm closing here, but, 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 but won't the Lord give you peace? Yeah. Oh, 